Today we're going to start a new series on comparing different cultic movements with each other, uh, either from a historical basis, theological basis, or personality basis. And so today we are going to contrast the Jesuit movement within the Roman Catholic Church and the New Apostolic Reformation. And thank you to one of my subscribers who requested that I do some research. I did some digging, and here's what I've got for you. First of all, the Seven Mountain Mandate of the New Apostolic Reformation very much mirrors, uh, by many, the Jesuit Counter-Reformation tactic and approach. Number two, oh, and just on number one, for those of you who don't know, the Seven Mountain Mandate um, is a um, revelation that was given to one of the prophets and apostles of the New Apostolic Reformation movement in which they believe that it was revealed to them that there are seven main uh, cultural centers uh, things like media, education, uh, etc., that the church needs to take prominence in and actually overtake and uh, take dominion in those areas. And when they do so, then Jesus will be able to come back. The church is actually setting up their kingdom, which is post millennial theology. And this is similar to the Jesuit Counter Reformation tactic. And uh, number two, they reject sola scriptura, both groups. The Catholic Church does so through their belief in the Pope and him speaking ex cathedra, meaning um, that he is able to declare the very word of God and even supersede previous revelation. The New Apostolic Reformation believes in modern day apostles and prophets and that they can receive direct revelation, which is on par with the word of God and in fact, um, in many ways supersedes the word of God. Number three, Rick Joyner and Paul Cain became Knights of Malta, which is a Roman Catholic group. And in fact, the knighting ceremony for the graduates of Bethel School of Supernatural Ministry and Bethel Church in Redding, California, that's Bill Johnson's church within the New Apostolic Reformation, um, very much mirrors uh, the whole uh, knighting of Malta ceremony, and it's been pointed out by many. Number four, Bill Johnson is with the new evangeliz evangelization of Catholics, and uh, he has been seen uh, praying for the advancement of that movement. Number five, in 2016, Mike Bickle, Cheon, Chris Volatan, Stacey Campbell met with the Pope, along with many other evangelical leaders for a special meeting. And then number six, Lou Engel participated in mutual prostration with a Roman Catholic leader, Matteo Calisi, and Calisi proposed a covenant between Engel and the Roman Catholic Church. So that's what I found in my little bit of digging. And so I'm curious if you know of other things, go ahead and leave those down in the comments below. Is there more information that I need to dig or source that you have? And also, are there other movements that you would like me to compare in terms of their cooperation, differences, similarities, uh, compare and contrast with each other? And so go ahead and leave all of that in the the comment section down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. We are people of the free gift where we ground believers in their identity in Christ and equip them to reach those caught in religion. And if you like the content for the day, give this a thumbs up and share this with others in your life who enjoy materials who related to cults and how to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with them. And until next time, may God's grace be with you.